Thank you a lot for inviting me and for having me today here. Um, my name is Manuel Moreno, and I'm going to share with you my story that even if I haven't created my own businesses, I think it could um, also inspire others and it could um, help others to create their business. Well, I'm going to talk about programming, but uh, programming in a different way, let's say in a special way. Uh, I'm going to talk about programming for success and uh, what does it mean. I'm going to do something more dynamic because I think you are all tired because of the, the whole day that you've been listening to. You can, can see that some people are already tired. I'm going to try to do something more dynamic and I'm going to do an, a little exercise. But in order for me to do that, I will need a volunteer to help me to come on stage to help me out with something. So may I have a volunteer? I have something, someone there. Can I have? Let's give her a round of applause, please. <laughs> may I have your name? Welcome to the Youth Practical stage. May I have your name, please? Shirin. Shirin, yes. I have something for you. Just wait a second. Yes. This oh is for God. you. <laughs> so you can have a tea to your face. Thank you, that's your friend. Oh. Oh, you can check. It was not sponsored by Leonidas, by the way. <laughs> so my question to you was, why didn't you volunteer? What stopped you to not come here on the stage with me? This might be for many of these reasons, for example. Maybe because of fear. Maybe you had fear of, of the unknown. You didn't know exactly what I was going to ask you to do. Oh, sorry, I mean... <laughs> Or maybe it was because um, you had fear to be here in front of X number of people, I don't know. Or maybe you could just couldn't be bothered to come here, I don't know. Maybe it was um, a matter of obstacles, maybe you were at the back of the room and you didn't want to stop the rest of the people to come here. Or maybe it was a lack of motivation. Um, in this case, somebody else will need to, to um, volunteer for you. No matter what the reason was, it's happened up here, in your mind. For those of you who didn't volunteer, you missed a chance to win, to win a box of chocolate that she won, by the way. <laughs> this little exercise is not about the money. It's just to demonstrate the power of your mind. All the ideas that you have on your head have a huge impact in the decisions that you make. And all the decisions that you make have a clear and a huge impact in your future. Because actually you create your future with the decisions that you make today. This might be too simple, but there are people are constantly missing amazing opportunities because of the mindset. And I'm referring to those self-limiting statements such as, I can't do it, or um, I can't be bothered, I don't have the time, I'll do it tomorrow. But tomorrow, in this entrepreneurial world, will be made by somebody else and you will have missed a chance again. Even if you have amazing ideas, you never do anything with them. And then you have to be brave and try to make something with them. This is, sounds really familiar to me. Um, and this is, re reminds me a few years ago. Back in 2011, I had just finished my uh, degree in communications and events. In the, at the University of Seville. I had done my Erasmus in Italy and I had done a few unpaid, um, unpaid internships in several companies. It was clear that I didn't want to do more internships, so I thought it's the time to, to find a proper job. I looked around, I looked around and in the end I found a job. It was, it was uh, in my hometown. I couldn't believe that I, I had found a, a job in my hometown. I'm from the south of Spain and the situation now it's, it's a bit difficult. Um, I found a job there and even if I knew it was not my dream job, it was not the, the job that I wanted to do, it helped me to pay the bills and also it helped me to um, save a bit of money. But um, at the end of the day it didn't make me happy. So I decided to quit and start my international career. Well, thanks to the Leonardo da Vinci program, I could, go to, to, I could move to the UK and I could work for five months in two different companies 
uh, where I learned really a lot. I improved my English, I traveled around, and I saved a bit of money. But I knew this was not going to last forever. And that was the moment that I had uh, what I called a meeting with myself, with my own me. I sat down and I said, well, I want to do something else. And I said, well, um, why not trying to create my own business? And this is what I did. Thanks to the, um, I tried to, um, I had, I had saved a, a bit of money. I had what I, what I thought it was a real business idea, but I had no support. So I never gave up and tried to look for different paths. And this is how I got to know the uh, Erasmus for Young Entrepreneurs program. I don't know if you are familiar with that, but for those of you who don't know the program, it also offers the possibility for an, an, an entrepreneur from one EU country to go to another country to learn from a different entrepreneur uh, and different um, experienced entrepreneur from another EU country. Thanks to this experience, I had the real pleasure to work at the British Chamber of Commerce in Belgium for five months. For five months, but after that, I was again jobless and I didn't have any other opportunity but me. So um, in that time, I thought, this is not the right time to create my own business idea. I thought I, I didn't have enough time, I didn't have enough money, and I didn't have enough support. So I decided to park a little bit the idea of creating my own business and trying to invest in my own me, in my own brand, which is the most important thing that everybody has here. And that's how I decided to invest in my own brand. I watched millions of uh, YouTube um, video tutorials. I, I followed a lot of online courses. And I contacted um, many, many people, many communication professionals like me, who wanted to support me in this, my personal project. And this is how I came like, with my personal brand. You may have seen this. this, is my personal brand. I created my personal brand and with this, I try to um, encourage a future employer to employ me. And this is what I did. I created my own website, I created my own business cards, I try to make the most of my strengths, and, and I also create a massive campaign on social media. It's true there is a lot of competition in Brussels. Um, people here are super well prepared, super well qualified, but you have to be focused on you. You have to be focused on the person that you are and making the most of your strengths. And this is what I tried to do. I tried to propose something that nobody else proposed before. I tried to propose someone with a logo that seemed cool and someone like who knows exactly what you want and, work, and, and what I wanted at that time was a job in communications. And I got it. I tried to propose something different, be essentially different than the rest of the people. And this is what brought me here today. Today, um, as, um, as she said, I'm working at Digital Europe. I'm the Creative Communications and Event Manager at Digital Europe. For those of you who don't know, Digital Europe is um, the voice of the industry, the te industry technology in, in Europe that represents the industry sector in Europe. Last year, I was awarded as the most inspirational career campaigner within the, the, the frame of the East Coast for Job pro project. And this year, I've been included in the largest youth research ever made as one of the best practices in the use of social media to get a job. With my experience, I just wanted to tell you that it's possible if you're, you have a clear goal and, you ste and by step by step, you are reaching your objectives. I opened my speech by saying that I was going to talk about programming for success. And although I haven't spoken much about numbers, coding or complex languages, I try to reveal and to tell you the secret ingredient, which in my opinion are the secret ingredient, to program your mind for success. Because if it's not in your mind, there's no way it's going to become reality. First, be always the best you. Be self-confident. Be so good that they cannot ignore you. Second one, act. Take the risk. Don't be afraid of failure. You will have learned. Maybe next time you, you have learned and for next time you are better prepared. And third, have a clear goal in life and work hard to make it happen. Thank you. <laughs>